Today is Wednesday, 10th of November, 2021, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is our prayers and worship. Our theme scripture is taken from Revelation 8, verse 3, and it says, And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it to the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. Hallelujah. When you study the book of Revelation, one of the many beautiful things you find is the power and spiritual impact of our prayers and worship. Pastor begins. Revelation 15, 8, for example, describes something remarkable as revealed to John. It says, And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power. And no man was able to enter into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. This parallels what we read in the Old Testament when the priests couldn't enter into the temple built by Solomon. Remember? The Bible says, when they began to sing and worship God with the instruments of music, the glory of God filled the house that even the priests couldn't stand to minister by reason of the cloud of God's glory that we can find in 2 Chronicles 5 verse 14. Praise God. Pastor says, our prayers and worship in the earth have great impact in heaven. When we pray, when we worship, how does God see it? We are actually offering spiritual sacrifices. The Bible says, and when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of orders, which are the prayers of saints. That we can find in Revelation 5 verse 8. O oh, pastor says, when you are praying here in the earth, it's not a mere religious routine. It goes to heaven as incense. That's what David meant when he said in Psalm 141 verse 2, let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Hallelujah. David, being a prophet, had a revelation of the future. He saw that our prayers and sacrifices and the lifting up of our hands would replace these incense and sacrifices of the Old Testament. Glory to God. Our theme verse says, There's an altar a temple in heaven upon which the angel offers his incense alongside the incense of our own prayers. Oh, glory to God. How amazing that is. So, Pastor says in conclusion, when you are praying and worshiping the Lord, it's important that you understand the spiritual significance of what you're engaged in and do it with faith, hope, and love. Praise God. And Thank you, Lord, for your word to us today. Okay, let's take a confession now, meaning it to the whole of our hearts. Please say after me, I lift my hands today in worship to the great God of glory who has lavished his love on me and beautified my life with splendor, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Hallelujah. Okay, for further study, please read Revelation 8, 3 to 4, Hebrews 13, verse 15, and Revelation 5, verse 8. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth 
Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.